Disclaimer, this video is not sponsored. Hey everyone, Kelb here, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be continuing my PC build journey by upgrading my 8GB RX 580 that I found on Facebook to this beast 12GB Zotac RTX 3060. I'm also going to do some benchmarks and put the two head to head to compare performance as a fun little experiment. My old power supply won't be enough for all I want to do, so I'm going to be replacing it with this Corsair 750 watt power supply. So without further ado, let's get into it. This might have just become a bigger job than I thought it was. Uh, final connector is down there. Let's see if we can get it. Five minutes later. There we go. She's out. There it is. I'm gonna miss this thing. It's like it's beefy. It feels just nice. Got the old power supply and GPU out. Let's get this new 750 watt power supply out. Important information. Is this thing bigger? I don't know. Oh fuck. I did not expect that to be a thing. Hold on, I need to do a size comparison. This power supply is significantly taller. <laughs> uh, let's just hope it fits, I guess. Alright, so yeah, it does fit. That's good. Alright, now that we have the new GPU installed, let's get into some benchmarks. Starting off with Battlefield 5 at 1080p using the minimum latency preset. The RX 580 does a pretty good job of giving us a playable experience, running the game over 60 frames per second in most situations. It's good enough to have some good fun, though at times where stuff is happening fast, the frame rate tends to dip a bit. Kinda like in this clip here. I was still able to pull off a pretty high kill game on this card though. The RX 580 ended with a final score of 70 FPS average, a minimum of 5 FPS, and a maximum of 138 FPS. Not too shabby. With a frame limiter to 60 FPS, I can see this running pretty decent. But let's see how the 3060 compares to this. Once again we're running the game at 1080p, but this time we've bumped the settings up to the high preset to put a heavier load on the GPU. Let's see what kind of stuff this GPU can do. Immediately we can see a lot has changed. We can see further in the battlefield, making gunfights more engaging, the lighting and scenery looks a whole lot better, plus the frame rates are higher, as should be expected when upgrading your GPU. I actually found myself enjoying a lot more of what was going on around me in the game, proving to me anyway that graphics to some degree do make a difference. Like I'm convinced if I was on my RX 580 I would have not even seen this guy. The 3060 ended with a final score of 95 frames per second average, a minimum of 65 FPS, and a maximum of 148 FPS, which I'm very pleased with. Though the RX 580 still did a great job, the 3060 just kicked its ass. Moving on to the next game, we're going to be testing the new Modern Warfare 2, starting with the RX 580 on high settings running at 1440p. 
I want to see how both cards do with fast paced gameplay and lots of effects so I'm going to be using the shipment map for this test. The size of the map will ensure there's lots of explosions and effects going on as well as that fast paced movement I'm looking for. The RX 580 once again does a decent job of running the game at a playable frame rate, a little better than what you'd see on the original Xbox console. I again believe with frame rate limited to 60 FPS and some settings tweaking, you could daily run this card for MW2. The RX 580 in MW2 ended with a final score of 63 FPS average, a minimum of 26 FPS, and a maximum of 145 FPS. Moving on to the 3060, we're once again running the game at 1440p, this time utilizing NVIDIA's recommended settings for the resolution, which enables NVIDIA DLSS as well as some other neat stuff like immersive realistic high fidelity shadowing that utilizes real-time ray tracing. I'm once again going to be using the shipment map to do this test, so let's see how this card performs in a higher resolution environment. As expected, the RTX 3060 leaps ahead of the RX 580, giving us a more smooth, good-looking, and enjoyable gameplay experience. While playing this, I didn't experience any kind of noticeable FPS drops, and getting that result at 1440p while not having to tweak the settings at all is a big plus for me. The RTX 3060 at 1440p in MW2 using the recommended settings ended with a final score of 83 FPS average, a minimum of 62 FPS, and a maximum of 114 FPS, which is more than enough to have some good fun. I also find it pretty amusing that the RX 580's average FPS was the minimum of the 3060's. Just goes to show how much 4 years of development can do in the gaming world. By now, I think you get the point. A $200 GPU isn't as good as a $500 plus one, yet it's still pretty usable. So next time you see a cheap GPU on Facebook Marketplace, I hope you think a little differently about what it can and can't do. I just wanted to make this video to have a bit of fun with my new piece of tech and possibly help those who are looking to upgrade potentially make a better decision about what they are buying. I personally think I'm pretty happy with this GPU, but who knows? Maybe you're looking for a bit more power, or to save money by not opting to buy an RTX card, or just wanted to know how the 580 compares. Either way, I hope this video was somehow informative. And before I go, I just want to say thank you everyone for supporting the channel throughout the years. It means the world to me to be able to make this content, have it seen by so many people, and know that I helped someone learn something or have a better day. So thanks again. This video took me a bit longer than I wanted to make, so be sure to leave some feedback letting me know what you think of the video. That's all I have for now, hope you're doing well. I'm Kelb, and I'll catch you in the next video.